Hello, I'm Lisa with Aspire Johnson County here with our Monday Mem Member Moments video. And we are here with JP the Geek and Shannon Tankersley. Hi, Hi Shannon. Thanks Hi. for having us. Oh, thanks so much for coming today. So tell us a little bit about how JP the Geek got started. Of course. So JP the Geek is really a um, like a homegrown business. So Jesse, our JP, he started the business in the basement of his house while working full time with a church in Greenwood. So I guess you could say it started as a side hustle. Uh -huh. uh, and he just uh, kind of grew organically. People would refer other businesses to him and he would manage their IT uh, while also working full time. And so it just began to grow. And then through a connection he had, uh, he got to schools that he began to manage. And so it just really kind of started to grow to the point where it was no longer a side hustle, but a full hustle. And so in 2018, he took it full time. And so he just continued to have grown organically. I came on board in April to develop the sales and marketing side of the business so that we can really accelerate that growth, not only through the organic, but through networking and making connections like through Aspire. Sure, and so tell me how you help your customers and what's the focus? Sure, so we're what you call an MSP, which is a managed service provider. So we take the day-to-day -day headaches of your of network infrastructures and computers, we take that off of our clients' plates and we manage that. So business owners don't need to be focusing on why the network's not working, why the server went down, or why these computers aren't working. We manage that for business owners so they can really focus on growing their business and not worrying about the IT infrastructure. But also, unfortunately, in today's uh, cyber threat world, we really are focusing on helping our businesses build that cyber security around their business. Uh, cyber threats are unfortunately on the rise. And so we hear about the casinos, we hear about the big hospitals that are breached, but unfortunately small to medium sized businesses are a focus because they, they aren't building up those barriers around their data. They will quickly pay the ransom because they wanna get that data back, they wanna get working again. And then also, unfortunately, they're the testing ground for cyber criminals. This is where they're testing those new products that they have to see how they work before they take them out to the larger entities. And so we really want to help small to medium sized businesses build that barrier so that they aren't, um, they're less of a potential threat for, or less of a potential uh, victim for a cyber criminal because unfortunately, 60% of small businesses will go out of business within six months of a cyber attack. And that just breaks my heart because these businesses, this was somebody's heart and soul that they poured into growing this business and it can be taken away from them just so quickly. Right, right. Well, we are so glad you're working on that. Now, is JP the Geek now working on some community events and growing them? Sure, <laughs> so last week we had our first tech recycling day, which was so much fun. Uh, we had such a great turnout, people bringing all different types of technology to be recycled. We had an old radio from the 1980s that came in, tape deck, I had to teach the young kids here what that was. <laughs> uh, but it was really great to see, and it was so nice to be able to provide this uh, opportunity to the community to safely recycle that information. So the company that we work with, they are 100% landfill free. And so all of that technology that was uh, handed in that day is going to be fully recycled, not going into landfill. So we're so excited yeah. about that. And then also we're really uh, driving down or really getting into our uh, community educational events. So next week we are going to be hosting here a lunch and learn at our office, free lunch. Mm. Uh, it's going to be focused primarily on uh, businesses in the financial industry. Uh, in June, the FTC uh, pushed into effect these new safeguard rules that impact these businesses. Mm -hmm. And so they can kind of get a little confusing as to who is you know required to follow these safeguard rules. So Justin Kinney, who is our Director of Cybersecurity and Compliance, has studied these and he knows them pretty well. He's been following any ch changes they've been making to them since June. And so we're going to be presenting this information to these businesses so that they can really understand 
what these rules are and what they need to have in place in order to stay compliant. So Justin does a great job of taking the um, technology, which could be a little difficult to understand at times, and taking these government rules and really just breaking them down into a way that people can understand them. So that's on November 16th from 1130 to one. Again, we'll be providing lunch. So uh, if people would like to attend, they just need to reach out to me and uh, let me know, I'll get them registered. Get registered, it's very <laughs> important information. Um, and so if they, if your potential customers want to reach you or know your location, sure. how would they get a hold of you? Sure, so this is our, so excited, our new upgraded website. Uh, up That's Jesse. The, that's Jesse. <laughs> there's here. Uh, but up in the corner there, you'll see the contact us. You can click there and fill out a form and uh, we'll get back with you. Uh, we want to just kind of learn more about, you know, what the business is and what we can do to help to make sure that we would be the right partner. But then also I love going to Aspire events. So just if you're an Aspiring event and you see me there, just come up and chat and uh, we'll, we'll see if, again if we're the right partner for you. And for those of you who use our uh, business directory, they are also in the Aspire website business directory as well. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, thank you so much. Such Aww. good information. And thank you for everything that you're doing to help those businesses. Sure. It's our pleasure. Thank you so much for coming by today. All right. Bye. Bye.